got the plug, the plug life. Two Dennis angriest Reddit. 11 14, 20 24. That's funny. <laughs> Man, uh, obviously, this first clip, everyone's seen it on Twitter by now. This just dropped a day ago. Shout out the plug, but I mean, obviously, he got it from the 14th of Duke Dennis stream. Obviously, if y'all didn't see on Twitter, it says Tylo gets mad at Cal, keeps it real that he's never seen Duke get curved. Yeah, I'm, I wanted to see what Duke says to this. It was a crazy conversation, but Kai was just saying ever since he's been with him, and Ty Lil is his homie too. He knows both of them. And Ty Lil got mad. He did. He got mad, and then uh, Dez got mad. And start saying you don't be in the streets with us. Like he started, they start taking it deep. And a lot of people say, bro, they argue like this all the time. And ain't that ain't nothing. I'm like, no. When people say stuff like that from day one, because you could tell they felt a little. Yeah, I did see that. And a lot of people's like, no, they didn't feel neglected. No, they could. You could tell they felt some type of way. Like Ty Lucian never got that mad. He never said he never don't pull. He just said from his eyes, he never seen Duke Dens get curved. I know that sounds crazy, but it's like from his experience, he never seen him get curved. When it comes to females, though, because I, I don't care about girls. So I'm gonna lie. My man's do. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all both my man's. Word of my mama. Y'all both my man's. Duke. Okay. Word of my So I hope. No, I hope to say, who the f when it comes to females, though, because I, I don't care about girls. So I'm gonna lie. My man's do. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all both my man's. Word of my mama. Y'all both my man's. Duke. Yeah, see, and they say he bugging. Dad's got up, and that's why I said Tyler is a word of my mother. Dude can't f with me though. That's why I'm like, see, he taking the challenge. He just said I ain't never seen him get curved like that to him. He's like, I think you know he pulled he pulled more. He didn't say he pulled less, but that's what I'm saying. That's the ego in dudes when it comes to women and money. Dudes crash out. That's the only two things. And he felt like his ego is being tested. But the thing was where he contradicted himself. He said, I don't even care about women like that. And then as soon as Kai says that, oh, he can't mess with me. I really pull girls. That's why I said. It, this whole clip, which you're about to see, even Ty Lil said, you remember what happened in Boston? Like, now you start bringing up all your accolades of women you pulled, and you just said you don't care about women. That's why I said this was such an invalid argument. If you didn't care, you would have never crashed out like that. I thought this was so dumb. Like, <laughs> like I don't know why he got so mad. What the fuck is actually talking about right now? <laughs> Yeah, he was really crazy. It is not out. this. It was deep not. Right it here. was not. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> it is not that deep right there. <laughs> Kai, bro. Kai, bro. Kai done made that man crash out, bro. It was Kai's fault. Tyler don't got not one stream <laughs> where you need to be doing this right here. No glaze. No glaze. Word to my mother. Again, no glaze. I've never seen Duke get curved. Word to my mother. Now I'm the only in this room who really seen these in action doing two different things. He said, "Word to his mother, nobody can him." I said what I said. I'm the only in here who has seen everything. That's facts. I'm just saying I'm not a liar, Tyler. What am I about to give you props? The f is they talking about though? So the argument is who get more business? I don't. I'm just gonna drink the apple juice, keep going. I think I already seen Duke's clip talking about he only goes for girls that like him, which is a so so hefty amount, and that's where people's gonna say you're holding, you're glazing, you're, you're riding him, bro. It's a hefty amount, bro. But I know both halves. I heard females say he's really ugly. I heard him say he's really fine. He gets both a spectrum, but Duke pulls. And all Kai was just saying, I think it is a dub. It wasn't even trying to be an argument. All Kai said was Duke. The title said he can't f with me. Like I said, Dez started taking a personal. If Duke saw the full clip, which is five minutes, I know he was just sat there like, what are they even talking about? But it's just like, bro, they just got, like I said, it was really Ty Lil that took it out the poor portion. I mean, you could say, oh, Kai aggravated how? He just said, no one can. He said, well, I've been around Duke. I think he can. And he took that as an ego thing, a pride thing. It was very annoying. I didn't like how Dez was bringing up, oh, you've never been in the streets with us like that. We be really in the streets. You know what it is. It's like, bro.
He's like, I'm doing, like, Kai's like, I'm doing me, though, gang. Like, we still cool. That's why I said. They start getting personal. And a lot of people act like, nah, that's just nothing. Brush it off. No, when some people start saying stuff, and you can be like, oh, it was in spite of the argument. No, that means you've been holding on to that here in your heart. That's how you've been feeling. It was it was very unnecessary to me. That's the argument. That was the <laughs> hey, but look, though. Look, though. If you watch it in mute, though. <laughs> Watch it in mute. You were dead. Spent they arguing about something super serious. But this is a and look. I want to you know this is a type of conversation, argument, or whatever. This is a normal conversation amongst it is. the guys. It if is. you got homeboys, you got real friends. You know these type of arguments are one hundred percent normal. They right? are. They happen. And, and just they getting get a little personal. This hectic. Like they actually get this deep. It's they very common though. But like, look at them. Look, we watching this on mute. Yeah, you really think they really talk about something crazy? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, you would think this a real look. look. Yeah, he would. <laughs> now, nah, the conversation is normal. Like I said, it just wasn't that deep. But, like, yeah, I've been a part of that. Trust me. I've been a part of that. The Like, you can be in high school. It will be on your basketball team. Like, with dudes, a soccer team. You already know. When it was some of them practices or you was waiting before your game start. And one of the homies said, oh, bro, he fly. I'm like, bro, the homie not that fly. It was like, and then the homie said, what? But I put more girls than you. But I always thought that was the lamest thing to me. I never liked these conversations. To me, I always thought it was the most corniest, lamest thing to hear. Like, anybody that always pulls out money or women, that stuff is so lame. Like, you're a cornball, bro. Like, I'm like, no disrespect, though. If you do that, you do that. But, like, bro, I didn't like that my homies did that. That argument always pissed me off. But that's how I always said, you know you lose. I feel like you lost the argument when you start resorting to that. Because I always heard that. It could be, it is a normal conversation between dudes, but it sparks up out of nowhere. It always does. Because you have a person like Ty Lil, nobody can mess with me. And then somebody like, bro, didn't you get Kerbo old girl? They're like, who did? Who did? And then they start getting tripping. And then I was like, bro, I put more girls than you, though. It, was, it don't matter if I'm put more girls than him. And it's like, let's say Ty Lil said, I right, whatever, Duke. But I know I put more than you, so it don't matter. And then it's like a whole ego thing. That's why I said egos always get tested. They do get this crazy. I don't like them, though. I think that's the dumbest thing. Like, why can't we all just be eat, eat together? Like, we don't have to bring up money. Like, you already know what it is when I have the money. They was like, I don't even play. Does it? So, and then they, because like I said, Ty Lil got personal. And start bringing up stuff that happened to Boston. So like, what happened to Boston then? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You can't say it. it's like don't do that. And Kai was telling them that in the clip. Like, I want you to chill. Like, you don't be sharing yourself like that. Like, don't be trying to throw out your whole business. It was, it was just embarrassing, bro. Cause like I just said, I don't like conversations like that. I don't think those produce anything. When it's like I put more women in you, hoes, hoes. This I got more money though. I got more money though. Cool. Does that make you a better person than me? Because you got more money? No, it doesn't. Doesn't make you a better person at all. Like cool, fully. That's cool. You can leave this earth, and guess what? That money gonna stay there. Where are you gonna go with it? That's what I'm like. Stop acting like that's just the end all be all. When if money and hoes is the end all be all to you, bro, you are completely lost, brother. I ain't even gonna lie. That's why I'm like. I just thought it was just. It's corny to me, though. That's what I'm saying. To me, I don't like conversations like this. Duke is right. This is a normal conversation between people. I don't like doing that though. I don't. I think it is the most like weirdest thing because there's a m lot more women than men. Is Duke in Vegas? I think I see the Caesar's Palace. Wow, I'm glazing. I'm looking way too hard in the background. But yo, know, voice crack still going through puberty. Okay. But uh, yeah, I just think conversations like these are corny. It should never have to get that serious. That's why Duke's laughing because it's like, man, they they do sometimes. But when they start getting personal, I don't like that. When it was like, oh, we be in the streets, Kyle, you don't really be with us. He's like, bro, like, what is you talking about, gang? He said, that's how we acting now? Like, I don't know y'all now? And then Kai said, the only reason why y'all know each other is because of me. That's why I said it starts getting to that level. Now we're escalating other things. That's why I said, when you bring up those things, a lot of people's egos can't take it. So they feel like they got to disrespect you. And that's why I never respect these conversations. I think they're the lamest thing. Like, you now you got to disrespect me. Now I'm less of a man now? Crazy. Crazy. If you didn't know what the what they was actually talking about, like it looked dead serious though. I'm gonna keep it a band. <clears throat> Kai said that he haven't seen me get curved. Wanna know why? 
because I go for girls who like me. That's just the that's just plain and simple. Which is I'm all, not a lot approaching of girls. girls and I'm not approaching girls and I'm not shooting full court shots. And I'm not wasting my time either on girls who I know full fat just don't one comment says they come for you truly. Let's just be real. A lot of the girls that want Duke, they approach him. They approach him. To be real, we watch a lot of 48 hours in LA or Atlanta or 24 hours in this place, and what do they do? I mean, granted, Duke is clouded, but what do all the women do? They're like, Duke, they be waiting for him. Like, hey, come here, come here, come here. That's my man. Like, they like him. They all like him. They think he's fine. They watch his streams. They be like, man, they, they literally, majority of his stream viewers is grown women, grown black women. They love what they see. They, this is what they like. They like Duke. And then one dude, the dude that come, every girl like you, F, 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 <laughs> hey, they just saying. They said you don't be out there though either, yeah. Don't like me or have no. Then this one girl said, I like you, never came to me. No interest in me. If you don't have interest in me, then I'm just not even finna, I'm not finna persuade somebody to give me. I've seen this clip, but it is facts, yeah. I mean, to me, I don't have the same thing. Uh, it doesn't just, it don't happen for a lot of us dudes like that. Like, dude, Duke said, I just go for ones that go for me. You got a lot of options. Me, I got zero. But it will change. Because, you know, as long as you're not focused on them, like they said, water your grass and, and stuff, they'll come, they'll come. But, yeah. Other than that. Your time. That's not what I do. Interest on your end. Interest on my end. Y'all know I told y'all this before. Mutual interest. And boom. Now we now we now now we now we talking about something. I'm not I'm not They said Tylo shoot anything. They said he was he was just like They said Tylo B in FL. Yeah, he was just mad because he said Duke. He didn't like that. That's what I'm saying. He didn't like that at all. Like, yeah. But come on now. Approaching just anybody. No, I'm just saying, I'm just tell you, telling you how I operate. They said the same mom like you shoot your shot. In a room or a face or event or whatever the case may be. And like, you see two, you see two women right here. Both of them equally as pretty. Both of them dress nice. Both of them look nice. Both of them carry themselves nice. Cool, right? If if neither one of them show me no type of interest, don't look at me more than a few times, and I'm not approaching or talking to either one of them. But if one and like I already know, some people gonna say. They say we don't care. Talk about Clint Quinn, <laughs> bro. Cause facts. They just want to talk about. This is the same stream he talked about her. They said the girls that like me are too quiet and couldn't handle me. Crazy work. One of them, she keep looking at me. I, I, I simply. Somebody said that's impossible. I'm like pretty much. Most of them are gonna go to Duke. Everyone will say it's glazed, but let's be real, bro. Duke's been universally glazed by celebrities and everything. Like Quavo and them. Oh, he looked like a rapper when he started rapping. Literally, I just watched. Off camera, which I'm about to finish watch, you know, all these. I just been watching off camera a bunch all the rappers react to the AMP cipher. Ladicky literally said, or Lil Dicky was over here like, nah, Duke looks like he be getting, you know, booty or like not getting booty, but be getting women and stuff. And then he's ah nah, I saw the whole fiasco. I just wanted to say that. But then he said, on a real note, he definitely looks like he just be having sex with women, a lot of women. They just say it. It's not like he they just like, no, that man looks like Come on, bro. You just got it. So I was like, let's be real. Like, I, I hate how he tries to act like now. Like, if I just walk in the room, you know what I'm saying, type is, you know, I walk in the room and they, you know, they dress themselves accordingly. And, you know, they hold their standards, you know, type is. And um, I walk in the room and they don't even look at me. I'm not going over there. <laughs> then he start laughing like, just like, buddy. Like, I'm not. Like, look, I'm not, I'm not listening. I'm not going over there because it's not mutual interest, chat. Then he'd be acting like, you walk in the room. Duke, like, bro, stop it, bro. Get the frick up, bro. Approach her if I was interested. And for the, as far as the one who not mind her business, I'm going to let her mind her business. I'm going to let her mind her business. She might. But I be letting them mind their business because they none of them be looking at me when I walk in the room. So that's why I said this never happens. So <laughs> finding it, she look 
You know what I'm saying? And guess what? That's it. The one that's looking at me and the one that's looking like she won't meet a mile. They said, what if they book guess what? both looking? Now, I'm going to see what type of business you are on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's assuming that I was interested. How about that? Talia is one of them guys. I will definitely say that. Talia is one of them guys. I will, I will. You know what I'm saying? How about that? I've definitely seen Talia maneuver. I've watched Talia before. And I will take my hat off to, you know what I'm saying? I will definitely take my hat off to what I've seen him, him do and, I, and what I know he's capable of doing. Why, however he operate, it works for him. Oh, Twin, you gonna do me like that, Twin. Come well, on, I see Twin. Twin. You lame as hell, Twin. That's why you always get fooled, bro. You always get fooled. You always get fooled, bro. You always get fooled, bro. Hey, hey, you know what though? Come on, twin. This video right here. Twin, come on. It was a twin. lot of people you in the comments mad at me. You lame as hell, twin. That's why you always getting fooled, bro. You always getting fooled. It was a lot of people. Hey, it was a lot of people in the comments mad at me, right? For not talking to the. No, 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 no. I was at a stoplight. I was at a stoplight and I had my windows down. I was riding through downtown ATL. The same night I was on the night I was recording the Halloween video, I was leaving, right? I had talked to them already. I had my windows down and a girl, some girls had like ran up to my car like, oh my God, hey dude, ah, ah, right? I'm talking to them, having a conversation and the that I already had spoke to already, they got them on, on the other side calling my name and shit. Now, first off, if you see me talking to some women, why the f would you want me to stop talking to them and talk to you? You know what I'm saying? That's number one. But I had already said what's up to bro now. You know what I'm saying? That is fact. <laughs> that is facts. I thought they wanted him to throw a lie. Yeah, nah. He said, yeah, why would you want me to stop talking to them facts? I'm not going to stop talking to them for y'all. I just already talked to y'all. But that's what I'm saying. This is why I said this community of clips. Me and Jay talked about it a while ago. Me and my boy Jay 1v1 Hoops. The clip community is dangerous. Because you see a situation like this, where he, it's not like he has to explain himself, but yeah, he, he feels like the backlash he's getting is like, oh, you being weird. But it's look how quickly just one angle of a clip can paint your whole narrative wrong. Don't get me wrong. Duke said, after I finished recording the Halloween video, I'm chilling. He said, I'm at a stoplight. They already talked to me. I said, what's up? Somebody else approached me. I'm trying to talk to them, give them the respect they deserve. And then he... They acting like, oh, you being weird, you getting fooled, trying to make them look all weird on the internet. But all it takes is this, this simple thing. You clip it on your phone, you laugh, you share it to the internet, Duke weird. Now it's a bunch of stuff surfacing like he's just too Hollywood for people. And like I said, he don't have to really talk to you anyway. Just because somebody talked to me, you have to listen. You really have to talk to everybody. But he was just born with respect and I was too raised with respect and all that stuff. But... That's why I said clip community is dangerous. And this is why I said it gets so many people. It's just a, such a deeper conversation. I want to keep dragging it. But it's like stuff like this has to be looked out for. Because people like this that only always show one angle of a thing or one side of a thing. This is what it does around the world. At least on the internet, it makes you look that way. Because, you know, in the real world, not too many people care. But, yeah. And, and like, I had already said what's up to them. It was a lot of in a comment said, section bro, need to mad at me bro. you know what I'm saying like they was mad at me like oh this you got an ego you know what it is though chat that is called project project you wanna know why they was mad at me because they was putting they self in the shoes of the trying to get my attention and they 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 trying to they projected onto like what how they would feel if they was in that position saying do 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 Dude, and I'm not answering because I'm talking to some, some women, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh God, though, I had already spoke to niggas already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, and, and also the video was out of context too. We know bro. it was. And, and it ain't like I was trying to talk to him. The girls were just simply saying like, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? I like, think you look nice. I watch your videos. I'm, a, I'm gonna support them. Like, oh shit, appreciate it." They're like, "Where you about to go?" I said, "The bed." <laughs> Oh, this Asian and Cinna? Yeah. This Duke and Quinn. Yeah, have you heard about that? Yeah, I have heard about that. And they do go good they together. Go good together. Uh, Shout yeah. out Quinn and Duke. You watch the video? I saw clips. Nah, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 10 minutes in and it's good. It's good. Nah, she got good energy. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she I ain't good. gonna lie, they go good together. Alright, real shit. You think he'll cut that? Stop. Take it? You think he'll cut that? Like, cut that, cut that? No, like, cuff that. I know that. You know what I'm saying? What do you, you think he will cut that? 
Like no one do. Stop. You think he'll cuff that? Like <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I know what y'all doing. <laughs> I didn't do that with you as old. <laughs> I didn't do that with you as old, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm out of my business. Guess what you need to do? How about that? <laughs> How about that? You mind yours <laughs> and I'm my mind. You know what I'm saying? Got the jersey again? <laughs> you know, he hung up the jersey once and that surprised me. That's what I'm saying. How that made you feel? Bro, it when he hung up the jersey, I thought I would never see that happen. That was crazy, right? Chat, y'all see? Y'all think he, he look good uh, with Shorty? What's her name? Quinn? Mm hmm. Yeah. Shorty, what's her name? You think he look uh, good with It can't be like. The agent said that shit, they be arguing too much. She be too like, yeah. yeah. Listen, I, I think she, off, she, she, she look fun. Listen, bro. First off, her name is Quinn. Okay. You're right now. <laughs> nah, yeah, look at you. Yeah, clip for it, man. Try to get it right, because that's your girl, huh? Tell her. Adam, man. <laughs> they said defend your girl. Adam, no cap. I'm going to keep it on. Shout out to his women supporters, though. A lot of them saying period, all that stuff. Like, they still rock with Duke. They even rock with him when he was with Callie, his girlfriend. That's why I said they. Because a lot of them know they're not finna get him. And I'm glad, you know, delusion doesn't set in. But it, it's funny that I just thought about that. Duke says only do people who have mutual interests. And also it says if him wanting them and they not just wanting him. Now, a lot of the viewers in there, some of them, I'm not going to say all of them, because some of them are subs. That's why they got, like, the crowns by their name and stuff. I think the crowns are mods. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Subs are just subs, but some of them are subbed up because of that, because they think just like, there's like, there's the other side. We, we try to talk about loser men. There's loser women. I'm not saying all his viewers and stuff. I already know they have a community. If any of them find this video, they're going to send it to me. Start probably roasting me on Twitter like this dude called us losers. Look at him, he ugly, whatever. Your mama. But listen, that's not even the point. I'm not even gonna say y'all losers or that. But I'm saying there is some women in there. I'm not saying the full queen, queen D block of women are like this. But there's some that they really think that they Duke and them Duke's gonna give them a chance. Like bro, that's just not gonna happen. And that's why I'm like you're chasing that when you could be looking for your actual husband. And at that point, I wouldn't even be spending hours being a sub or watching them. No, not hating on Duke, but I feel like only single women should be watching them. And I know a lot of people say, like, who are you to tell? Like, listen, if you're married and you can handle you and your husband watching Duke and enjoying the stream together, but not you watching him and then neglecting your husband or something, then okay, it's different. But if y'all both watch, that's fair. But if she's just watching Duke and she's just commenting in his chat and she and his discords are private chats, that's not your girl. But if y'all agreeably watching together, but I just feel like for the single women demographic should because at that point, you ones that's married, like what's the point for most of y'all? I'm not saying Duke's not an entertainer, but let me just keep on because I know some people think I'm hating or nothing. I rock with Duke. Duke's Duke's, Duke's my guy. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't do relationship content. I, I just wouldn't do that. I'm just letting y'all know that up front. I just wouldn't. I so if I was that. if I was talking about dating somebody. Seriously, I would. I, they wouldn't be on my. Y'all damn, they wouldn't know about it. But I'm gonna keep it all real bad. Nah, she's cool. The thing I mean, is, they know. find about everything, dude. She's fun. She's cool. But she might be fun. Yeah. Nah, she is fun though. What? That's him. What? <laughs>it be sh like that though, chat. They act like they plan, but it, it, it's really just a throw it out there in a combo. You feel me? Like, really, what she did right now, she threw it out there in a combo. Let's say a girl said that to me. A girl be like, oh yeah, what's your body count? Would you want to add one? Bam. I already know you trying to get hit now. You feel me? Now I know you trying to get hit. You could be like, oh, I'm just playing high. But just the fact that you had the so courage to say that, show me you trying to get hit. You feel me? Like, her saying that in his head, he like. Listen, and oh, yeah, is. Okay, yeah, she's trying to. No disrespect, no disrespect. They no said disrespect. they're doing too much. Quinn is a troll. She's not trolling. Because if Duke would have said yes, she would have I'm just playing now. We not nasty. No. Stop it, bro. Everyone be trying to be like, they're a troll. Like, that's how y'all women flirt. And y'all be acting like that's not how y'all flirt. I'm just saying. You feel me? I'm just. This is just my um, hypothesis. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hypothesis. This is my hypothesis. This is my theory. <laughs> <laughs> like the chemistry is so good in this video. I want to make an edit. I kind of get it now. Like I never understood why people made edits, but I'm like.
Do you this understand a- it now? Video. If I made an edit. <laughs> yeah, should I make an edit of them? DZ, what the a- f- are you talking about? That is about, about the gayest thing to say, though. I ain't gonna lie. That was zesty. That mess, I get it. Like, I just want to make an edit of this. Are you good, bro? Are you good? <laughs> Did you say you want to you wanna make edits? <laughs> are you talking about? DZ, what the f*** are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> What is brother man talking about? Did just say he want to make edits? <laughs> hey! <laughs> My DDG is so goddamn funny. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I ain't you. <laughs> Let me make sure I ain't you. Like, the chemistry is so good. Ah! Uh, bruh. Peace, <laughs> bro. No, bro. bro. Video. I want to make an edit. I kind of get it now. Like, I never understood why people made edits, but I'm like, this is a video. If I made an edit, <laughs> yeah, should I make an edit of them? It's a video. I like it. Listen, bro. <laughs> if you <laughs> drop a Quinn and Duke edit on your TikTok, <laughs> this is chatting right now. Okay. Have you ever watched a movie? I'm a parasocial in this video. You ever watched a movie and the movie was so good that you looked up the actor or the actress? Like, it's kind of like there. the same you effect. You know? It's a really good video. I know what he's saying on that you part. Oh, told us I hope the come females on. Because I, I don't care about girls. Well, I see. So I, I lie. My man's do. Skip I, over. Oh, is this the whole thing? This the whole five Yeah, why, watch video. the whole five minutes. The first yeah. MP crit, what I do? The first MP what I do? Yo, birthday, you crazy. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, wait. Yeah. Females on. I, I don't that's why I was like, Duke actually watching the full clip. Now, now he's going to be like, oh, nah, I didn't got that deeper person. I told y'all, bro. Well, honestly, so I lie. My man's Duke. I ain't going to lie. Y'all both my man's. Word of my mama. Y'all both. Mama Duke can't f*** me. Mama, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? That's why I said Duke is listening to that part. I don't care about girls. I don't care about girls. I already know. He's paying attention. My man's Duke. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all both my man's. Word of my mama. Y'all both. Mama Duke can't f*** me. You know what I'm talking about? 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 You
to flex a body count to flex how much women you get and you look better than me now and i already know tyler it's not even that no because when somebody this is the biggest ego thing you already know people have shouted that out where you in the room it's like somebody saying on everything in this room i'm knocking everybody out then you're gonna be like why is he talking like that like he's gonna knock me out I'm not gonna get quiet and then he just said nobody in this room can f with me he's like well Kai's like, mm, I beg to differ. And as soon as someone disagrees, he felt like his ego was intact. He didn't say you never get women. He didn't say you, you never do what you do. That's why I said it was so dumb to me. But it's all these arguments always be dumb because it's like that shouldn't even deter how y'all act. And they started taking it. Like I said, you take it personally, you start bringing up trips, A&P shoots and stuff. Why are you letting that information be known now? You're getting too deep. They're trying to really act like you're just some guy. To stands, you can't do that, bro. That's a bad look. Who? Us! So the f you talking about? Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be Be honest. 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 Be honest.
Dude, right now, like, if you crash watching, don't get my even though I don't be with uh like AMP agent Kai Phantom, watch it and Chris and Davis before y'all got them start eating. Watching them work turn me the fuck up every time. Kai is goddamn going berserk, killing, shit, setting records. Think, I think the next I'm named for five categories for um, for the awards. Can't do nothing but turn. Can't do nothing but turn up when your dog, when your man is. You know what I'm saying? You got Agent. Agent is one of the most underrated streamers of all time. If it wasn't for no count, if it wasn't for Kai doing what he doing right now, erase Kai as of right now. All uh, right, Agent would dead ass be like. <laughs> yeah, he would. No, but like this, and he was my friend. These he would. These is I mean, these is these I created A and P with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? These is my brother. So That's when facts. I when I got Kai, Agent, Phantom. Chris Davis, like this around me, bro. I literally just can't fail. <laughs> like, I literally just can't fail. Like, these are the goats, and I'm blessed enough to call them my, 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 real, real, my real brothers. Spell, real and spell. they are some of the best in the world. At this shit. That's that's the crazy part. But this agent is dead, very underrated, and he, he gets overshadowed oh, by uh, other like. This we talking about greatness being in greatness company. I'm not yapping. I mean, if, if I was yapping, bro, no boy, good yap. <laughs> and you know, you know the best part about it, and I and I don't think people people don't like look at they this is Drake, enough. It's like AMP got six members, right? Whenever you come across a supporter of AMP, you don't know who they gonna say is their favorite. I've seen all the edits, all the clips, <clears> like everybody else has, and I have been seeing other videos of Duke come up on my timeline. And I feel like we all stereotype Duke, just like Quinn did, because, like she said, unrelated. I really like that sweater. And like, oh, when I think of you, I think flashy. I think got a lot of. I think this. I think that. And Duke, like, no, like I'm the chill guy that be in the back. Like I don't even like the club go party nothing for real. Like so now that I be seeing other videos of Duke, y'all, they like, said, Duke don't say y'all. It is y'all, bro. That's all everyone say. If literally you say what comes to mind when you say of Duke. They gonna say grills. What one of the chats words unspoken ribs, which I wish they would stop saying that. Like Rooks Duke said, unspoken ribs is cringe. I'm just glad it's dead. So that they'll say that or hoes. They'll literally those are the three things they'll say. I say creator, funny dude, athletic athlete. I'll say athlete, all of that. Like Duke with it. I'm gonna Duke athlete like that. Sports, superhuman, slam ball champion so like type of thing i think sports Duke really be in the bag Duke really be that one chilling like who that in the bag yeah Heck, like duke you surprised me yes your tea your tea oh god the stuff is so cringy duke i like you you're cool she got a ring on this cow so I oh my god <laughs> but they don't mean shit, though no, not not that like not that that don't mean say like that might not be that's on her right hand. I don't know. She's not married, bro. She's not married, bro. In the discussion, but if you see me, if if I'm at an event, if I'm at a function, if I don't know nobody, I'll be in the bag. If I'm if my friends are there, then I'm with my friends. But if I don't know nobody, I'll be in the bag. This that's is my sure. auntie. She she doesn't. She's not old. Camera flipped. Well, shit, ain't none of my business anyway. God damn, bro. Am I too young? Haha! <clears throat> you don't, hey, shout out to everybody who told me Happy Veterans Day though. Let me, I let forgot me he was address in the army. some very, very dumb comments that I seen on that post. Matter of fact, <clears throat> open my bookmarks on stream. Let's go, Mike. Bro, I will dead ass open my bookmarks on stream. <laughs> I don't, man, come on, bro. I don't bookmark sh <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm a, bro, I'm a holy, bro. I'm a holy guy. I don't bookmark, I don't, and, and look, just so you know, look. This is my, my account. Do this. Bookmarks. You know what I'm saying? How many accounts? I got one account. Look. Well, they don't show likes no more, so account, click on bro. your likes. They don't show oh, likes man, on Twitter no more. Come on, bro. 
Come on, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a great guy, bro. I be trying to tell they Pope that, bro. Next. I don't know, but anyways. Nah, he ain't gonna uh, show the likes. Clip him saying, I'm here, ho. Fuck you, nigga. But, uh, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people type in, comment, and, like, incorrect information. So let me set it straight. I was in the Army for four years. I did not get kicked out of the Army. I got an honorable discharge from the Army. I completed four years. I was in Germany three years. I was in uh, Fort Gordon one year, four years. <laughs> yeah, you can do <laughs> you know four what I'm years. So I'm a veteran. No, I did not kill nobody. I did not get deployed. Thank God. I did not take that. No, I did not take that. <laughs> and then I, I was, I got kicked out after a year. You don't know me, <laughs> and stop speaking on me. <laughs> and then, how you gonna tell other people information about me when you didn't don't know me loudly too? Like you loud with it. Yeah. They about to get me copyrighted. I didn't even mute it in time. It's so dumb. YouTube, you're weird on your copywriting thing. Because it's like, they'll just take five seconds. I'm like, yep, that sounds like a beat. But it's no impact to my channel. Because I'm not monetized. This on uh, Twitter or not? Shit, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, this so funny. She was hitting that bro. She was hitting that bro. Hey, she was hitting that bro. Nah, she, she, nah, she, 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 she was. See, this nigga didn't even know real veteran. He was in the army for a year and quit for YouTube. Money underscore 4KT. OMG money one. I was not in the army for a year. I don't know who the fuck you been talking to. I can literally complete it four years. When I got out, that's when I started YouTube. Loud and wrong. This is next level of hating right here. I didn't know something about somebody. I wouldn't publish it to the fuck world like did that make sense i guess i'm just normal because i went to the army in <laughs> hey i went to the army fresh out of high school 2013 i got out in 2017 that's wild but hold on huh what hey bitch hey you mother wait that be... <laughs> hello <clears throat> damn I am, bro. Call me three times in a row, and I, but you, you call me three times in a row, and then when I finally call, you, when I finally answer, you don't got shit to say. You hang up. You're blocked. Out of AMP, who do you think is the most creative member? It's probably Kai in terms of like <clears throat> content. I think more conceptually, probably Chris. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think's the funniest? The funniest to me. Is gonna be a tie between Davis and Duke. Davis and Duke behind the scenes are so funny. Like it's different because like people just see what they see on camera. So like their opinion on who's the funniest or whatever is probably gonna be different. But I live with these guys, bro. Duke and Davis are some of the funniest alive. That's alive. The I love sure. them. He's hilarious. But it will. It's not like they're cracking jokes. It just could be something they're doing that makes me die laughing. Um, Hey, no cap. Hey, no cap. Everybody thought I was bullshit when I said Davis is one of the funniest members in AMP. Everybody thought I was playing. Everybody thought I was bullshit. Like, like I don't live with him. And like Asia said, it's not, it's not cracking jokes wise. Each member be doing that be funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but hey. Nah, I know what you're trying to say. Everyone has a, everybody has a different, different type of funny. It's close. I think Kai is also really funny. Uh, and Phantom could be funny too. Yeah, yeah. So Kai, Kai, Kai's like kind of just complete, almost reinventing streaming. Like the, he is, it, he's kind of like the Mr. Beast of streaming now. Yeah, low key, right? Yeah, I mean the people that I see the biggest, obviously Kai and Speed. Yeah, Speed. Yeah. True. Dennis being 30 makes sense. He's not old, and no, he does not act like an early 20-year-old. Y'all lost me. What the f*** does 30 look like to y'all? Y'all favorite influencers are around the same age. Who you cussing out like that? <laughs> this election really showed me that. I think so. Uh, 
racism is very much still alive. This election really showed me that. Updates. Uh, racism is very much still alive. What are you talking about? This election showed you racism is still alive because a fake black woman lost <clears throat> to a certified politician. A fake black woman who's never had any accomplishments in her political career. Name one. I'm asked Duke, like, do you know any accomplishments that Kamala Harris has? You don't know. Why do people even want her? How is racism still alive? That's like the least important <clears throat> issue out of everything right now. When it comes to immigration, geopolitics, potential wars, the economy, high inflation. Race, bla racism against black people? Where? Where is it? You would think people as smart as Sneeko, Sneeko is smart. You, but you would think somebody as smart as that and somebody who knows how the internet work would do research before yapping, right? And so like, Sneeko been on the, on, in, on the internet for a very long time and he knows how clips work. You know what I'm saying? So like a Twitter plug clipped a 40 second piece of the conversation that was 10 minutes and threw it on Twitter and now you got people like Sneeko, right? Who see that 40 set, that 40 second clip. Yeah, but look at the chat proving and you're not a black man calling him out his name now. That's what I'm saying. Like it, <clears throat> I knew what Duke was probably trying to say. He wasn't only saying that part, but I literally just talked about it earlier in this video. You see what clipping does. It baits, it has people say stuff. And people saying fake, bro, she does it. I'm sorry. That's the only thing I'm going to say on the Kamala Harris thing. I don't like talk about this, but people are just like, oh, here you go. She didn't claim to be black, bro. She was only claiming it now towards the campaign. Now, I think she got people like Cardi B, who's, I think, Dominican and black or Puerto Rican or something. Like, she's not, like, fully black. But then you get Megan and Stallion twerking at campaigns. And then you got other... Like, she tried to get Kai, a black creator, one of the biggest streamers in there, to speak, and he don't want to do that. He don't want to talk for that. Like, she's gathering all the people that you know faces and be like, yes, I stand for this. They said half black, half Indian, bro. And she barely started killing him in that. There's literally talks of her not even claiming it in the past that's the only thing i just don't like people voting off the fact that it's like if they're black i gotta stand with them because a lot of black people don't stand for each other you can look now in the hoods and days or like i'm not gonna say i'm not even in the hood let me even say that but you can look i know people in the street street politics 98 percent of the time other black people's ops is other black people keep it a bear we'll be killing each other at parties who be doing stuff like that? When they say YN, do you think about a YN as a white person in a mask or a Hispanic person in a ski? Or you think about a little young little black boy in a ski from Atlanta or something like that with a switch ready to crash out? I'm just saying. Not all black people are for black people. And I don't feel like having skin color makes us connected because a lot of y'all can really give two craps what happens to each other. And that's why I hate when it's just put into a political thing. Like, she stands with us. She's just going to make sure all black people are right. Y'all don't get it. It's like, I'm like, it's so outer. Y'all forget about the inner. But that's all I'm going to say. I just don't like that being everyone's reasoning. She's black. You got to. Obama was black. He still did some stuff wrong because they're all going to make mistakes. Just because you have black doesn't mean like, oh, man, you just know everything there's to know. Like, what the frick? Out of context. Without even doing the research of the uh, of what was said before or after. This. And the only thing I'll say to adding to this is don't believe everything you see on the Internet. What happened to not believing everything we see on the Internet? Doing research. Somebody said, just let it go. You finna yap again. As I said, I understand what Duke's saying, though. The content. Fake what black women. Okay, buddy. Like, see how every black woman, black person attack. Like, you're attacking our color. Like, bro, she does not. That's why I was like, I don't. I feel like you shouldn't vote off of someone being your skin color. I definitely do not do that. And I know some people can bring up examples. So when you walk into a room full of black people, you don't feel comfortable. Or you, you, you feel comfortable. To an extent. To an extent. If I don't know nobody, I don't feel comfortable. If I walk into a room with a black people I don't know, I'm not comfortable. I'm on ease. I'm on edge. And a lot of dudes know what I'm talking about. Even street dudes know what they're talking about. They always have their head on a swivel. It's not a white person pulling up out that van about to blam them. No, it's one of their ops. 
Is there opposition? I'm not saying always opposition, but let's be real. Like I'm tired of people putting so technicality. Every opposition ain't a black. Yes, it is. It's a. It's mostly majority of it is black people going out for black people, and people trying to tell me, oh, you just let the news drain. No, I've seen it. There's people's homies that are killed. I'm not even gonna name at parties were shot. Even growing up, some of my brother's homies shot, killed. And it was by another gang member. Guess what? He was black. It happens. So that's why I'm like, well, I don't know why we feel like this connects us. It doesn't. Because the people are still killing dudes, other black dudes that diss them, diss they hood. On dead homies, you're shot. What do they say? You know you're not supposed to be over here. I'm finna kill you. Oh, you disrespected baby moms? Oh, you came to my hood knowing you're not supposed to be over here? What happens, bro? You break law. You snitching? Come on, fully. <sighs> It only works, nah, and just like I'm saying, I don't feel like can, can skin color connects everyone. Because if you feel like that, then all the crimes that, like, I feel like there should be no connecting every crime just to a white person. Like, it was, like I, I don't know. I just feel like it's, I can't say I don't want to say on the internet because people take it out of context like they just did right now it's literally the poem that they'll take anything and i know i clip my own videos but even me showing a little clip you get somebody being ignorant too as well look and, and actually thinks that that's what i said and without doing research on if i was if that's what i was talking about or not he then made you know what i'm saying a uh, response to yeah. i didn't say america was racist i, I didn't say that i seen that America was still racist after Trump won. I said I seen that America was racist after seeing what the election did to the people. Like, the, the election showed me that racism is, is still alive because of how the people was acting against each other. Mm -hmm. About it, it showed me it was still racist because of how people was talking to each other. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, whites, blacks, everybody was saying the absolute worst shit to each other. You they know what I'm saying? They can say exactly. And that's what Duke was saying. I definitely agree. I feel like this is what this election I already talked about on the podcast. Those are the worst things. I don't even really care about politics, bro. But it's like the fact that I've seen that you can no longer be associated with someone because the way you voted. And it's like, that's their character and everything. You're just retarded. It's like, now nah, I'm a dummy. So when did you become the perfect person? When did, for people that I even seen a christ followers let's just say that not even christianity let's not even put on a religion people that actually believe and have a relationship with yahweh even act saying you can't follow me you're dumb you're you're idiotic like you don't stand for black people it's like dang somebody that reads the bible is very very dumb like man it is kind to it's not even kind it's very sad and just ignorant to me i didn't like how we treated each other like everyone is now looked down as a person now you vote for this person or you vote for that or you believe in that you don't deserve this it's like so when did y'all become such perfect people because you voted for this particular soon to be president now you just know life you are the smartest person around no you're not better than no one and that's why i couldn't stand the scene I, everyone just turned into a perfect person all of a sudden because you voted for this person you're perfect you have no wrong. Everyone else voted for the opposite is wrong, evil, and dumb. So it's like, mmm. So now all of a sudden, that's why I said it was just sad, bro. It's really sad. Like if that's how you act for disagreements, you you you're immature, bro. And like that's what showed me that America was still racist. Not that 40 second clip that y'all seen that was taken out of context. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy because simply because somebody people. don't share the same political opinion as you, that's what brought out the nastiness in people. That's what that's what showed me America was still racist. Not who won. I can give a like who won wasn't even a topic. It, it was about it was about how everybody was treating Facts. each other. That's what showed me that. You know what I'm saying? And when that clip went viral on Twitter, y'all did nothing but prove my point. I had so many white people calling me the most racist shit possible in my DM simply because they thought I voted for for her. So they was in my DM being racist and, and just talking nasty to me simply because I didn't share the same political views. That's what. That's what it showed me. Yeah, so y'all didn't have to prove my. They said we know you voted this for Trump. This election showed me just how racist America is. You know what I'm saying? Because after that clip went viral and everybody posted it, 
It was a lot of white people in my DM, very mad at me. Uh, calling me all type of names, monkeys, all type of So, yeah, y'all prove my point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all prove my point. That's what I'm, that's what, I, that's why America showed me that after the election, it was very racist because of how people was treating each other, not because of who won. So next time, when you see a clip, do research of what was said before they said and after that. Then, then you can week, make yeah. your, your judgment statement based off of you know what I'm saying? But you'll know next time, Sneeko, man. <laughs> you'll know next time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Learning experience, brother. Hope you're doing fantastic. Y'all, I'm currently watching <clears throat> Quinn and Duke Dennis's little video because I've seen so many, so many TikToks about it and I'm, I'm intrigued. Quinn sat up here and said she was 23. I'm already uh, only because I'm 21. So it's like, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong with my life? Duke Dennis sat up here and said he was 30. I thought he was trolling. No matter. I go to Google. Duke Dennis is 30. Yeah. Come again? Like, I don't know. No 30 year olds looking like that. Is that a compliment? That's a compliment. A lot of people Hi. take that as a backhanded. Then they say agent forehand. They say it's jokes. They say she real. Then they said, she's dumb. This girl's ugly. Like, bro, like, trashing her, be, bro, she's not saying nothing crazy. She just said she didn't know. That's what I'm saying. You get, you go against people that live on the internet. Like, you didn't know? It's like, yeah, I'm sorry that I just don't wake up and know he's 30. Like, I just, I don't be invested like y'all do. That's why I said a lot of y'all be too invested. I'm on a laptop screen. Close this. I got an iPhone. Just press this. Put it down. Look at the world. Because y'all are tripping. Is that a compliment? Hey, it's a compliment. I actually seen it might seem backhanded, and but it a is. response to this, right? The response to this video was actually kind of ass. <clears throat> because, like, I think that was talking about, they was, like, it was a lot of people in the comments saying that I, I hang out with. Somebody young said, I'm people. 40 and I look younger than Duke. Whoa, buddy, you're 40. <laughs> in this chat, brother. <laughs> And that's just not true at all, chat. And I want y'all to stop saying it because the only young person that I hang out with is Kai. And Kai's 22. All my, all my other friends are there around 30. Davo, Dre, Darius, Agent, Phantom, Chris. Davis is 24, but everybody that I just named is over 25. So Kai is the youngest that I hang with, and he's 22, right? Agent is 28. That's AMP. But a lot of people be, be trying to say like, Duke live in the house with a bunch of 22 year olds and that's just not <laughs> correct. Kai is the youngest. Agent is the is the oldest right under me. Then it's Phantom. Then it's Chris. Agent, Chris, Phantom all over 25. Davis is under 25. Everybody that's all y'all look young for real. They do though. They do look young. All of them is 30. Kai is the only 22 year old. Let's just, let's stop. Let's stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? And plus, a lot of people that y'all don't see on camera, a lot of my friends on cap that's not on camera, that live in South Carolina are 30 and up. It's really not none of y'all. It's really not none of y'all. I'm 22. Duke did it I'm 14. I to my damn TikTok. And once I started seeing it. This is the girl who said. Go up. This is like, the girl who said. Where is Ice Spice ass and where is Duke Dennis eyebrows? I feared for this moment. I feared that this would be the moment that he sees me and I'm looking toe up you still not looking not like yeah she built but she's still looking like a stud what she mean say see me and i'm toe up you still a little buff all i said was like you know i was having a hard time seeing his eyebrows and finding where they was and maybe maybe i could see him better in person that's just i could probably find his eyebrows better in person but Listen, she's strong. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What does she mean by that? You, she want to find my eyebrows in person? <laughs> I know that's right. Yes, I know that's <laughs> right. I know is, man. Shut the up, oh, man. That's not even. Anyways. All right. How about you give me? How about you give me some of yours? Cause you have great eyebrows. How about that? 
Which is fine. I remember one time I was cheating on my dude. He cheated first, but I cheated worse. I'm out of that mind. Two wrongs don't make it right. Thanks. Two wrongs don't make it right, chat. Listen to what she said. I remember one time I was cheating on my dude. He cheated first, but I cheated worse. I'm out of that mindset now. I'm grown. And my side dude was a different type of petty. Like, I hated that. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, my dude took 2K very serious. Like, he did not play by 2K, but his rank was extremely low. He was trash at it. But he went through, like, three controllers playing 2K because he just sucked at it. My side dude rank was 98, Okay. Okay, wait, her side, her side overall was 98. My side dude went out of his way to add my main dude. Her side nigga added her main <laughs> on the game. And every time me and the side dude would argue, he would beat my main dude. So and every time her and her side nigga got into an argument, he would get on the game, invite your main nigga to, to a, cook him. a quick match and beat the <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> my main dude, and every time me and the side dude would argue, he would beat my main dude. Ass. And then, like, why the f you arguing with the side? That's not what this for. I don't, I don't promote having side or side winning, but why the f you arguing with a side? That's yeah. not what they for. That One day I heard him yelling his name. I said, I know this ain't who I think it is. And I had put the mic on, and I heard him talking. And he was like, That's why I'm gonna fuck your bitch. He was like, you ain't gonna fuck my bitch. And the whole time he was fucking his bitch. And it's a cold world. Whole cold world. Can't even, you got, you can't even get them play 2K in peace no more, man. You gotta worry about the on the mic, the on the game, and your bitch. And I thought that was supposed to be the safest place. Like, he would beat the dog out of my man in 2K. And I mean, like, blow him out the Water. Like my dude would have like twenty points in to his hundred, and he would only do it every time we argue. And I said, "You are a weirdo." Like I had to cut him off of it because why you? And okay, he cheated. He cheated first. Okay, she listen. I boy. see a lot of ladies in the chat defending her. Listen, you show y'all showing y'all true colors because she could have just left, and and she's showing y'all she's showing y'all that she's not a good person either all right he's not a good person she's not a good person either okay she should have left then what really irritated me was they would play flag football together why are you going out your way to be with my and you know that i fuck you you're weird i can't deal with no pit you're weird you're weird he weird too yes okay let me calm down <laughs> he weird too yes but this yeah you're right this can't be real well, like she said it was then, old. Like, after he dogged him out of 2K, he'll text you like, I know he mad over there. Come get so loving. <sighs> where you at right now? Where is you at? Where is you? Where you at right now? It's crazy. <laughs> Me at my boyfriend birthday party trying to see which homeboy can keep a secret. Hold hey, agent. It's on your head, gang. Are you talking about my new cut? Yeah. What, what is that? Nah, Why so, you do that? So like, yeah, I just figured like it's about time I find. You know, I never get haircuts usually. I figure I might as well finally line my. Oh right. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Wait, let me see. Wait, mm -hmm. Let me see. Hey, you know he did. Wait, this motherfucker just teleports whenever he feel like it. Not Shout out to Player Life. Shout out Duke Dennis and the angriest Reddit. But if y'all enjoyed that video, like, comment, subscribe, stay positive, be great and blessed, and never stress. Peace.